All right, and we are live. Hey everybody, I'm here today to do a live stream on superhuman productivity. I will be telling you two key tricks that I use to get more stuff done in a day. It's really easy. There are only 24 hours in a day and we all have the same 24 hours. But I always find people, I oftentimes will find people asking me, Mike, how do you get so much stuff done? And the, the key lies within these two key things. I've mastered these two key things. Now, if you're just tuning into the live stream, which most of you are because it just started, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed and stay tuned because I'm going to quickly and briefly tell you the two things that I use to get an insane amount of things done in a day. Thank you for the thumbs up. If you have any product productivity tricks or productivity questions, please let me know in the comment section and I, and I will be addressing them at the end of the video. So you can comment and ask a question now and then this video won't be that long. I'm not gonna make it that long. So shortly towards the end of the video, I will answer all of the comment questions um, in general and if they are surrounding productivity obstacles, maybe you have something you wanna overcome, be sure to ask it below. All right, the first thing, the first key aspect of being superhumanly productive is cutting out useless stuff. Now, I know you're thinking I already cut out some useless stuff, but just listen up. The more useless stuff that you can cut out, the more productive that you can be. In a regular day, in a regular week, you need to look and analyze Write down all of the things that you're doing and figure out which of that stuff is not giving you the ROI that is coinciding with your goal. I'm gonna take you in my basement really quickly. Um, on a side note, for those of you that are in the live stream, I just finished my basement reno. It's looking really nice and comfortable. It looks good, I'm pretty happy with the end result. But I'm gonna take you on a quick little, uh, I'm just gonna walk over here to the side. So, right here uh, are some books. And I actually just posted a picture of this on my Instagram account. All of these books are pretty much all of the books that I've read in the past seven or eight years. For the most part, there have been a few more, but these are pretty much all of them. There are, I don't know, something like 10 or 11 books over here. That means I averaged about a book and a half a year. So I only read about a book and a half of year, a book and a half a year. So I've literally realized that these are pretty much the only books that I need to further myself. Don't get me wrong, reading is amazing. Taking in literature through writing is amazing, but it doesn't work with my goal, okay? So one of my goals, my main goal was to grow my online businesses and make more money. That is my ROI goal. I wanna be a great family man, great father, great husband, and so forth, but in terms of ROI, in terms of numbers and return on investment, I wanna build my online businesses, make more money so I can have financial freedom and time freedom. I can have days off because I can afford to have days off. So reading books doesn't give me a good ROI on building my businesses and earning more money, okay? It maybe will, in the long term, allow me to generate more ideas, and there are benefits to reading books, but the truth is that just reading a book, if it takes me, let's say I'm reading for 40 minutes a day, I, in those 40 minutes, I can film, edit, and publish, or schedule to be, to, to be, to go live on my YouTube channel, like at least three videos. So if I'm reading for 40 minutes a day, that means I can do three videos a day. So instead of, Reading for 40 minutes a day, I spent that time building my online businesses. Working out, I'm gonna just move back to the area over there so I don't have to hold the camera. Working out, I used to love working out. I was obsessed with working out. And you know what, I, I, I was really built for, for quite a while. And I'm not saying that I'm, I'm like huge right now, but the truth of the matter is that I realized that working out was not leading me to my ROI. It's great for my health, but what I do instead is I do this. So you gotta cut out the useless stuff, but you can replace it with things that give you a better ROI. Instead of going to the gym for an hour a day or two hours a day, Instead of doing that, I park at the furthest parking spot. So if I'm going to the mall or if I'm going to the grocery store, I park in the furthest parking spot. That allows me to walk to the store, get my exercise, and not really have to devote the time to working out. I'm only devoting an extra two minutes or three minutes here and there multiple times throughout the day. That is one of the, the things that I've replaced. Instead of spending time reading books, I listen to podcasts and audiobooks while I'm driving to and from work. That allows me to get the same thing while wasting less time. 
So by cutting out all of this useless stuff, I allowed myself to have more time. Now, if you want to achieve superhuman productivity, you have to use that additional time. This looks like a W. You have to use that additional time effectively. So for those of you that are just new to the live stream, I am talking about how to achieve superhuman productivity. Two key things that I use. The first thing, and I'm just reiterating this for those of you that are new to the live stream. The first thing is cutting out all of the useless stuff that you do. And two of the things that I cut out was reading. So I, I don't really read anymore. I listen to podcasts and audiobooks on the way to and from work and working out. I don't really work out anymore. I just park in the furthest parking spot and I use that distance as my daily physical activity. I walk quickly to the store from the furthest parking spot. Okay. And I walk wherever I can. So that was the first thing. Cut out useless stuff that frees up your time. Now, if you want to be insanely productive, if you want to get so much stuff done, which can lead you to many great things, you need to replace that time effectively. So you, you've now generated all of this free time. When everyone else is doing all of this useless crap all day long, you now have an extra five hours, let's say, or 10 hours in a day. Let's just say your working time has now been increased to 10 hours, okay? So here's the key thing. There is an 80-20 principle, and it applies to many different things, but in one of the things, the 80-20 principle applies to this. It's basically saying that you can achieve 80% of the end result in 20% of the time. So basically, imagine that you have 10 hours, okay? 10 hours of working time in a day. What you need to do is this. If you go and you do 80% of this task, in 20% of the time, okay? So we're assuming that in a day, if you wanted to achieve one task at 100% in 10 hours, okay, you would have to work 10 hours and you'd get to 100%. Instead of just doing one task in a day, one project, you get to 80% on this project in two hours, 80% in only 20% of the time. Then you get to another 80% on a different project in another two hours. Another 80%, another two hours, 80% two hours, 80% two hours. At the end of the day, you have completed five tasks at 80% effectiveness in 10 hours while your buddy, while your neighbor, while your friend over there has only completed one task at 100%. Now here's the thing, with most tasks, 80% is more than enough to move on. It's more than enough to check it off, say it's done and move on because perfection doesn't exist. Perfection is completely subjective. I just finished my basement rental once again. You can see that I did a pretty good job. Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. Totally dropped my phone there. All right. So I did a pretty good job, but there are imperfections. And now, I mean, now at this time of day, you can probably see all of the imperfections, like right over there. You can see that line right there, but that's just because of the perfect lighting right now. But you know, I could spend all day walking around correcting all of the imperfections. But this right now, I'm gonna call this 99% effectiveness done. There's no point in spending another five or six days at 10 hours a day just getting that extra 1%. So here's the thing, if you use the 80-20 principle and you apply it to your daily routine and you're working 10 hours a day, you can get five tasks done at 80% effectiveness while your friends are just getting one task done at 100% effectiveness. Now if there is something that you wanna complete 100% percent of all that you have to do is use extra time let's say you have an extra 10 minutes one day use that to get an extra one or two percent of that task that was stuck at 80 you're now at 81 82 percent you have an extra 10 or 20 minutes the next day use that time to fill in the remaining percentages now here's the thing on a regular daily basis i get a lot of stuff done and i'm not trying to brag because i I'm, I'm just trying to say i work hard for it if you go and follow me on instagram and i'll spell it out for you m-i-k-e C-H-I-M-M-Y. If you go follow me on Instagram, at Mike Chimmy, that's my username, you'll see that on a daily basis I get a lot of stuff done. In addition to working at a full-time job as an elementary school teacher, I am... I spend a quite a bit of time with my wife who's pregnant, about to have a child soon, within the next few months. Um, I also finished this basement renovation. I'm also running multiple online businesses. And on top of that, I still take time to watch my fitness as I walk to and from the store and so forth. I still take time to enhance my knowledge as I watch videos and I listen to audiobooks and podcasts. 
And the thing is, I'm not superhuman. I'm not Superman. I'm just a regular guy that works hard. How I've been able to achieve this is via those two things. So those are the two key things. Once again, for those of you that are just tuning into the live stream, I have outlined two things that I use to have this insane productivity, okay? The first thing was cutting out useless stuff. If you're working out and your goal is not to be a bodybuilder or to be super fit, then there are other ways to stay physical, physically active. Okay, if you're reading books and your end goal is not to be super knowledgeable in terms of written literature, then you know what? Take those books and throw it out. Because I have I see a lot of my friends and random people that I know online that I've met over the years of online business, and what they've done is they have they filled their time with this balanced lifestyle and they think that they're getting stuff done but in reality they're just being busy but they're not actually achieving anything now for those of you that are in the live stream if you have a productivity obstacle if you have something that is preventing you from being productive from being super productive let me know in the comments section and I will try to help you and answer that and assist you on a side note if you have any obstacle that you want help with let me know in the comments section and I will do my best in the live stream to help you overcome that obstacle. Because at the end of the day, life is full of obstacles. People want to get all of this done, okay? We live in a society where we want to get all of this done because we're, we're, we're pressured to get all of this done. But we don't have the mentality that our parents and our grandparents have. If, you, if I compare my work ethic to my, my nonno, and that's in Italian terms, that's my grandfather, he would work like 18 hours a day. And I'm here working 14 hours a day, thinking that's a lot. And he would work 18 hours a day as if it was nothing, as if that was a regular day. So we don't have the work ethic. The majority of us don't because we're stuck with this Instagram mentality, with this social media mentality of we want to look cool. All that I see as I scroll through my Instagram and my phone and my social media is I see a lot of people living these fake lifestyles. They're posting pictures of this car that they drove and this and that and at the end of the day they haven't done anything to achieve it they're just working a regular job they're just working your, your regular eight hours a day and they they're thinking that they're entitled to this one percent lifestyle if you want to be entitled to this one percent lifestyle then you need to work hard you need to be super productive thank you we have a comment here saying i agree 100 percent it's my generation, it's our generation, that's the truth of the matter. And I hear from a lot of older people and adults, you guys, your generation, my generation and those below us, you think you're entitled. And, and the truth is that 95 to 98% of people in my generation and the generation below me, we, we do think that we're entitled to actually you know, all of these amazing things, but we're not willing to work for it. I'm trying to be that 1% or that 2% of the difference, you know, that's willing to work for it. But the truth is that if you are part of my generation or a generation below me, then you need to stop and analyze yourself. Because I know all of my flaws, the things that stop me from being 100% productive. I'm pretty productive. I'm very productive. But I still have a long way to go to increase and maximize my productivity. So you need to look at yourself are you using those two key things? For those of you that just tuned into the live stream, the two things that I said that allowed me to be very productive, extremely productive, not perfectly productive, but extremely productive are two things. Number one, cutting out useless stuff. I don't work out. I find other ways to stay physically active. Number two, I, you know, cut out, I don't read books anymore because I find other ways to consume content. Okay, and the second thing, so number one is cut out useless stuff, stuff that does not coincide with your end goal. And the second thing is using the 80-20 principle. If you have 10 hours in a day, okay, instead of completing one task at 100%, by using the 80-20 principle, you can complete five tasks at 80% effectiveness because with each task, you're only using 20% of your overall time. Okay, that's what it comes down to. So you need to stop and just look at yourself. Even if you're part of my parents' generation or my grandparents' generation, if you're 80, like my grandmother is turning 90 in a few days. If you're 90 years old watching this, number one, thank you. Firstly, if you're 90 or 80 or 70 or 60 and watching this, thank you very much. I really like that demographic because I can greatly relate to the work ethic of my parents and grandparents more than I can relate to the work ethic of the average person in my generation. But if you're 90 and watching this, then you can still analyze yourself. The good thing about us in today's society, in this economical society and the way that medication is now is that we have a strong chance of living until we're 80 and 90. 
okay? Our average age has gone greatly up. So the thing is, like, my parents are close to retirement. Both of my parents are close to retirement age. And in their, with their generation, they're thinking that, you know what? 65 years old, 62, 63, 65, 68, whatever, you know, the average person retires right now, they're thinking that it's over. We're going to go relax all day, do nothing all day, play golf, go for a drive. But the truth is that you can start a business at 65 and devote five years to it, hardcore. And by 70 years old, you have a supplementary income stream. So instead of playing golf, you know, you're owning a golf course. So instead of playing golf here in Toronto, you're flying to Florida to play golf. So that the last 20, 15, 20, 25 years of your life, you're actually spending living this amazing lifestyle. Anyways, for those of you that just tuned in, two things to be more productive. I'm gonna end this and make this quick. Number one is cut out useless stuff. If there's stuff that you're doing that does not contribute to your end goal, your end result, cut it out. My end goal, my end result in terms of ROI is building my online businesses so that they can make me a lot of money and I can have a lot of influence, okay? Building my own, like the time for me, I'm gonna be honest with you with my end goal right now. Um, it, once again, if you're just joining the live stream, let me know in a comment what you think or if you have an obstacle, a productivity obstacle and I'll try and help you. But my end goal in terms of, not my end goal, but when I wanna relax is when I get to the point where my online businesses are earning me 100,000, $10,000 a month. $10,000 a month roughly ends up being $120,000 a year. If I somehow get into, you know, paying 20 to 30% tax, something around there, then what that, you know, after writing things off and so forth, what that means is that I will end up making roughly $100,000 a year, maybe a little bit less, maybe a little bit more. It all depends on how things work out. But once I hit that threshold of $10,000 a month, I'm not saying I'm going to stop, but I am going to take a step back maybe enjoy some of it and, and, and you know slow my working down by two hours a day, enjoy some of it and sort of still grind hard but enjoy a little bit of it. So productivity is a very fluid thing. You can be extremely productive Monday through Thursday. You can take a Friday off. You can be lazy on a Friday and Saturday and Sunday you can be productive again. But if you want to be productive, follow these two key things. So once again, if you are still watching this, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate your viewership. Follow me on Instagram. That's where you can catch me. That's where you can ask me questions all the time. I try to respond to all of the comments that I get. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to spell it out for you. M-I-K-E-C-H-I-M-M-Y. That's my username. Mike Chimmy. M-I-K-E-C-H-I-M-M-Y. If you have a question, let me know on my most recent picture. Just ask me a question and I'll gladly answer. Send me a direct message, I'll gladly answer. But follow me. If you want to see how productive I am on a daily basis, go and check out my Instagram. You'll see all of the stuff that I do. I mean, that's I don't really post many pictures of, hey, look at my, my, you know, my uh, new this or my new that. It's always in terms of I worked hard, look at what I accomplished, or this is what I'm working on right now. That's what my Instagram is focused on. So I don't only preach this, I practice it too on a daily basis. But that's basically it. Thank you very much for tuning into this live stream, and I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I just realized right now that because of the lighting, my eyes are like, super super dark so sorry about that i'll try and get a little bit of a better lighting situation next time but that's basically it there we go now you can see my face and you know my eyes are not crazy dark that's basically it and that's all i have for you today thanks for watching